Man, this is absolutely where BFS should shine. Tight quarters. There he is, there he is. Yes, 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 yes. Whew. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Yo, what's poppin' Team Dink? As you can see behind me, we're at the trout stream, and today I am gonna try to catch some trout on my little BFS rod and reel. A lot of you might be wondering, what the heck is BFS? Well, it's bait finesse system, or bait finesse style. It's basically a finesse bait caster. I've talked about this in former videos, but some of you are new. And the point is, this is a four foot 10 ultralight bait caster. I have four pound mainline, and I have a two pound monofilament leader. Literally two pound. That's like, Ridiculous, super small. When's the last time you threw two pound tests on your bait caster? I wanna know, probably never for most of you. There's a deer over there, hey deer. I'm gonna throw this little spinner. It only has two hooks on it because I broke off one of the hooks in a recent video. Okay, I've literally got less than an hour of light. So the last thing I wanna do is sit here and keep rambling. Let's get started fishing, let's go. Juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. You know, I've got two BFS rod and reels and I really predominantly like this rod because it's a four foot 10 casting rod. And if I can whip a spinner up under a bunch of trees and whatnot with light line, this is gonna be so epic for trout fishing. This spinner happens to be one eighth of an ounce. Some people will cast even lighter than this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, we haven't been fishing very long. It's not a bad fish. All right, how am I gonna land this guy? There you go. And we're on the board. Let's get him over here to the water. How about that? A little bit of a BFS setup and a beautiful brown trout. I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. This reel is called a Fish Van GH100. This is also from like overseas, but I actually got it from a member of Team Dink, Mark. So shout out to Mark yet again. I appreciate the fact that he sold me this used. And then the spinner I'm using, this is a blue fox. It's like a black with some silver flake in there. And then what I really like is the blade. It's silver with like a chartreuse tip. It just looks so juicy. Holy crap. There was a deer literally right next to me. I'm a nice guy. Don't scare me, okay? Thanks. Ow, son of a beeswax. Freaking thorns into my freaking arm. Ouch. This is the not so fun part of trout fishing. Gotta put in work if you wanna catch a fish. Gotta put in work. What I'm mostly scared of is taking a wrong step and like breaking my ankle. Hiking through this kind of gunk right here, man. There's so many trees and crap on the ground. You just have to be cautious everywhere you step. That's Ethan's safety tip for the day. I missed him. I didn't set the hook at all. That was like a tiny little trout. Okay, as much fun as I'm having with this little spinner, I feel like this is going to be better for an overcast day. We've got a high sun today. I'm thinking maybe going back to the gulp minnow is going to be the best idea. So I'm going to go ahead and tie on a 1 16th ounce mule jig with a 3 inch gulp minnow, and we're going to just twitch that through these pools. It'll look a little bit more natural, and I'm hoping that's what it takes to draw some bites. There she is. Looks beautiful. This will cast real easy. Oh, yeah. I like the way that cast. I don't care that I didn't catch a fish in this pool. I believe this gold minnow is going to be the ticket, man. I really do. Oh, he's got it. No, I missed him. Daggummit, it. That was the worst hook set. I should have caught that fish. I looked down and he was holding on to it. All right, good, good, good. They're willing to eat the gold minnow. This has turned into one of my total confidence baits personally. Oh my Lord, dude, he grabbed the body. He didn't get the hook. That fish came hard charging and just torch the body. That was awesome. All right, I'm feeling good. I gotta say this BFS is doing extremely well with this weight right here. The total package probably weighs close to an eighth of an ounce because the minnow probably weighs just as much as the jig. Not near as light as some people go, but I tell you what, I'm a lot more precise with it. And for me, that's so important. So I loosened it up enough to where this thing drops pretty quick. You know, you don't normally for making a sidearm cast, you don't really want it to drop that quick. But if you're talking pitching, you know, that's, that's big right there. Being able to do that, and execute that cast. That's a big time help right there. Man, this is absolutely where BFS should shine. Tight quarters. There he is, there he is. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, pretty small fish, but it's a fish. Got our day started. Like I was saying, tight quarters, lots of tree branches, little four foot 10 BFS rod, man. This is where it should shine. I tell you what, he walloped that and he's a fat little guy. This is what it's all about right here. All right, see ya buddy. You know, that's a pretty big bait for a small fish like that. Just goes to show, man, brown trout, they're pretty aggressive fish. 
I don't think I would have caught that fish I just caught on a spinning rod because I probably wouldn't have been able to make the precise cast that I needed to without slapping the water a lot. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I got this rod for right here. Oh my lord! He just torqued it. Okay, he completely missed. He'll come back. He'll come back. Oh, there, oh he missed it. Oh, he bit off the tail. You get back here, dude. Oh my gosh, every single cast. He literally bit off the tail. Okay, come on, we're gonna get this fish. I just wonder how many times fish swipe at it and I don't even see them. Oh my lord! Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Whew, that was a nice fish. Oh my lord. They're like little missiles, man. There I got him! There I got him! Yes, yes! Decent fish. Holy crap, he's got some fight in him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! 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 Rage! Rage! I'm standing on this crappy little stump situation and I didn't want to fall in, so I go to net him and I'm like barely bent over. I completely missed him and I had my rod tip pointed up and I allowed him to shake his head and unfortunately he had the leverage and he popped free. I don't know, 14, 15 inch trout? Really pretty colors though, that was the thing. It was like one of the prettiest fish I've seen. Dang it! That was exhilarating, man. That is why I love these fish. I tell you what, they are challenging, but they are fun when you get them to start biting like that. You see how he got the tail, just completely chomped it off. I have to use my little pitching technique. Oh, there's one tail in it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, there he is, got him. Oh, that's a huge creek chub. I was wondering what the heck that was. It's a big old creek chub. He was tailing it the whole time. Look at his colors, dude. That was like the craziest looking bite. He just tailed it and I saw him just open his mouth and just suck this thing in. That was wild. That's a pretty big creek chub right there. That's a nice fish. All right, I tell you what, a lot of people don't like creek chubs. I love creek chubs. Native fish, respect it. Should have got the brown trout, but got the creek chub, so that's fine by me. Obviously, as you guys know, I am a right-handed guy when it comes to reeling. Because I bought these used and I didn't really have a choice, I went ahead and bought left-handed and I decided I'm gonna try to become ambidextrous. I'll tell you what, with trout fishing in these tight quarters where there's a lot of snags everywhere, it's actually super nice to reel with my left and I've kind of trained myself to do it okay. It still feels a little goofy, but overall I do think it provides a value because as soon as that lure hits the water, I'm able to engage the reel and start reeling. And I think that that actually makes a difference here. When I'm bass fishing, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but in this situation, I do think it is a pretty big deal. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. That was a good one, dude. Oh man, I literally saw him. Even bigger than the one I missed earlier. Fish about that big, but he was fatter and all get out. That was my own fault. I didn't set the hook hard enough. Needless to say, I'm flustered. I had a shot at a real nice trout here. I mean, I, there's probably no way I would have landed him in this stuff. Thing about this short ultralight rod is you gotta set the hook a little bit to bury that hook. It's so short, you have to move some lines. So I gotta pull back on him a little bit more than I have been. I've been too subtle with my hook sets. I'm used to a little bit longer rod. I actually skipped that a little bit. I'm impressed. There's a fish. I literally skipped it. I'm pumped. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Get in here. All right, man, look at those colors. Beautiful fish, man. I just gotta get them right back in the water. Take good care of these fish, man. Super important. Oh my Lord, what a skip. I'm so pumped. I'm killing it, dude. Literally skipping this thing. It's so saucy. Little BFS rod, two pound test, and I'm skipping this thing up underneath the trees, man. I can't say that I'm gonna be able to do it every single time, but I'm pumped about the fact that I've been able to for a couple casts in a row. Oh, there he is, there he is. He torqued it, he torqued it. <laughs> this is a baby, dude, a freaking baby. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Little guy, I'm gonna put him right back. Let's see, buddy. I'm already anticipating the questions of what gloves these are because as you've heard me speak about a lot in the past, I've always struggled to find gloves that I like for fishing. Honestly, I really like these for trout fishing. This is the first time I've used them. I definitely got them wet, so it is a little cold, but at the end of the day, they allow me to access the main fingers I need for trout fishing, and uh, they're pretty warm. The most important thing is they still got enough mobility. So I'll leave these linked in the description if you also are interested in getting a pair of gloves for fishing. I'll certainly talk about them a little bit more in the future as I get to use them a little bit more, but over Overall, first impressions, good. Oh man! If I would have just kept going, that would have been a bad situation for my manhood. Fortunately, I was able to stop myself. Oh 
Oh man, he just smoked it. Dag gum it, Ethan. Arg. My execution is so bad. I'm not in my trout groove yet. You know, this style of fishing just requires a different style of hook set. And also you have to be a lot more ready. They don't hold onto a bait the same way a bass does. They just kind of mouth it a lot of times. So if you're not ready to pop them, you're done -zo. You're not gonna catch them. I will not miss my next opportunity. This pool up here is gonna have an opportunity. I guarantee it. This is gonna be a multiple fish pool, I'm calling it. There he is. All right, that's better. Better execution on my part. All right, all right. Just about like the last one, except super yellow, super pretty fish. Oh my gosh, look at those colors. Gorgeous fish, dude. Just a gorgeous fish, guys. Look at that. I love those little red dots, man. There's gonna be multiple fish in this pool. I'm getting this fish, I'm getting the fish. Come on, come on. There he is. Oh no, no. I thought I set the hook like a champion there. There he is. Yes, 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 yes. Torched it. I mean, he's got a lot of fight in him. Not a giant. Got a lot of fight in him. Try to land him without the net here. Okay. Okay, look at that. Not as pretty as the last one, but pretty nonetheless. Okay, I tell you what, I'm feeling pretty good, man. I definitely could have caught more fish today, but again, I just am not super good at getting that trout hook set down. They're pretty tough though, man. They just bite it and drop it right away. It's crazy. Regardless, I gotta say, I finally caught two fish in one pool, so I'm happy about that. Okay, I'm just kind of rambling, but the point is I'm having a blast out here and I really, really am pumped that I got into this whole BFS thing. I'm probably gonna keep experimenting a little bit, change some equipment around, but I would say this thing performs pretty well. Oh, come on. As soon as it hit the water, it got snagged. This'll be super interesting. Well, just got water in the muck boot. Always love it when that happens. That's always just a total blast. I really just need to invest in some new waders, but no, I'm a cheapy. Oh gosh, more water, more water, more water. No, it's not even the cold water on my foot that bothers me. It's the fact that it's like all on my sock. It's gonna be the most uncomfortable walk back to my car. Some things never change. I might be 27 years old, but I'm still just a messy boy. I want my jig back. Oh no. You know, in my last trout fishing video, I actually put one of these things on just because I didn't feel like rigging up another minnow. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing today. Looks juicy. No way. Oh, a creek chub. I was like pulling a kink out of my line and I just let it sit for a second. This creek chub just slurped it. Look at that. <laughs> Ew, he's got like a wart on his fin. Man, these fish are kind of goofy and they're definitely a little gross looking, but at the end of the day, they need internet appreciation too. I'm gonna name this one Warthog. All right, see a Warthog? As much as I'd like to stay and keep trying to catch the fish, I really do need to get going because I have some chores that I need to get done today. Overall, you're gonna be seeing me fish with this little rod more in the future. I love this thing, it's super fun. Today's trip went well, it definitely could have gone better, but I think that's kind of just how I am when it comes to trout fishing. I feel like I never fully execute on all the bites. It is what it is. I do trust that if I keep fishing with this thing right here and trying to mix it up, throw some gulp, throw some spinners, throw some jerk baits, that sort of thing, I'll eventually get into some big trout on this and I think that'll just be such a freaking blast. When I get home, I'm gonna strip all this line line off and I'm gonna go straight four pound clear monofilament. I think the two pound leader is awesome and whatnot, but it's just a little bit too fragile and there's so much wood in here that I think four is my happy place. If you have any BFS questions for me, feel free to drop them in the comments below or actually suggestions would be great too because I cannot claim to be an expert like I said. Overall, I know a little bit, but I still have a lot of research to do. Okay, I've got a long hike back to my car. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you next time.